Hello and welcome to the Cat Scrappiness YouTube channel. My name is Lynn or LV Handcrafted here on YouTube and today I'd like to share with you the Bride and Groom die set. This is part of the wedding mini release but you can really use these dies for any occasion and as you can see you can create beautiful dress and a men's suit or tux. So let me um, also show you, I will show you how to assemble these um, dies but let me show you some diagrams that I feel help really illustrate. The dress is beautiful on its own. You can um, use it by itself or add a couple of extra details, a little waistband detail or the sleeves at the top. The dress measures three and three quarters inches high by three inches wide assembled. Here we have the men's, uh, the groom's suit or tuxedo. The pants measure two and a half high by one inch wide. The jacket is two inches high by one and five eighths high and the lapel is one inch high by about three quarters of an inch wide. And as you can see, there are lots of different uh, options for the lapel and options for the necktie and even a bow tie. Here's a couple of examples of how the suit can come together. So let me show you how to assemble this. The bridal dress, which could be used as maybe a sweet 16 dress too, so you don't necessarily have to use this just for weddings or engagements, but really any occasion where um, you might want um, a really ornate dress, maybe even a prom dress. And so there's the wedding dress detail at the waist. And then with the uh, top piece, I just like to secure it with both glue and a little bit of scotch tape on the back. For the men groomsman um, jacket or tux, I like to start with the dress shirt and I add on top of that the um, necktie and then the two collar pieces because I like to overlap that a little bit at the top where the knot of the tie is. Then on the die that has the jacket, suit jacket, there are these two additional little pieces here and that's to represent the dress shirt that the cuff of the dress shirt that would be showing underneath. It's incredible how much detail these dies include as well as all of the different variations and options that you have. You've got different neckwear to choose from, including a bow tie, which I think is really cute. And here again, I'm gonna use a little bit of scotch tape to secure this on the back while my glue dries. And then the last piece that I add is the lapel. And when you assemble the um, the complete outfit with the pants, it's always up to you how tall you want to make your groomsmen. And here, what I did on this card, it's more of a traditional wedding card. I did add some extra little details with gems at the top of the neckline and for the buttons on the suit. And I wanted my groomsmen to be a little bit taller than my bride. So I just overlapped the jackets so that uh, it would kind of indicate that. Here is another wedding card, but a wedding for two men. And I thought it would be really fun to show the um, more of like a beachy theme. And so I used a linen textured cardstock and I thought it would be fun to have them match, but also give them different neckwear so that it's a little bit different. And this card is altogether different. I had a comment on one of my videos from a viewer who said she's still looking for a divorce card. So I used the stitched alphabet die set and um, created my own sentiment, just divorced. So maybe something to send uh, as a way to either console or celebrate somebody who's going Going through a divorce. I hope that you enjoyed this video and these samples. The products are available on the shop. I'll leave links to them in the description box below. Until next time, happy crafting and have a fantastic day. Bye!